Good morning, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, good morning, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am so glad to have you joining with us today on Facebook Live again, 2021. I am First Lady Bobby Daniel, along with our pastor, Bishop Daniel, will be coming in a few minutes to preach to us today the Word of God. His message will be keeping your heart clean keeping your heart clean we all born in sin and shape in iniquity god's spirit comes into our hearts and change our lives completely we become new creatures in god old things pass away old ways old way of living old ways of talking pass away and all things become new. What a wonderful change God made in our life. The Holy Spirit lead and guide us to do the will of God. We have to work hard on our hearts to stay in the will of God. We have to work hard. Don't let nothing get in your heart to stay in the will of God. Now, let's leave with us today our pastor, Bishop Daniels, to preach the word of God to us. Keeping your heart clean. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's so good to have you with us on today. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good amen we thank you for being with us amen i would like uh to uh, share with everybody amen that uh just want everybody to stay safe keep the distance the, the coronavirus is still out amen a lot of people are uh, contracting it so just keep your distance while you mask amen stay safe also pray for me and first lady daniels on this coming uh friday amen we will be getting our amen vaccine shot it's coming Friday, so be praying, amen, that all is well, amen. Today we're going to move right into the word of God on today. You'll find us in Proverbs, amen, the fourth chapter of Proverbs, amen, looking at verse 23, Proverbs 4 and 23, amen, and it reads, Keep thine heart with all diligence, for out of it, are the issues of life. Keep thine heart with all diligence. Yes. For out of it are the issues of life. Father, as we enter your word on today, we pray that you anoint these lips of clay, that we may teach and preach your word on edification. Somebody need a miracle. Somebody need, amen, a way made for them, Lord. We pray that you would enter in right now, touch that situation, cause healing to happen in the name of Jesus. Hide us uh, behind your glory that the people may see you. And we thank you in advance for what you've done and what you're about to do. And we give you all the glory and all the honor for it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. Dealing with keeping your heart clean, yes. keeping your heart clean. If we look at that 20th verse in this fourth chapter of the book of Proverbs, amen, it, it reads, my son, attend to my words. Mm -hmm. In other words, pay attention to the word of God, the Bible. It's the interest to life. The word give us life. Yes. Uh, David said, what have I hid in my heart and I might not sin against it. Uh, so he said, my son, attend unto my words. Incline thine ear under my saying. Yes. And not just read the word, but let it get into mm -hmm. your heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let it enter in on the inside. Just hearing it. You can hear it, but not hear it. When mm -hmm. Jesus came, he said, you have ears, but you cannot hear. You have eyes, but you cannot see. You really got to hear yes. what God is saying. You got to have revelation, knowledge, understanding of what God is saying. So he, he's saying, my son, attend unto my words, incline thine ear, Unto my saying, mm -hmm. 21st verse, let them not depart from thine eyes. In, in, in other words, 
The Bible is to be read every day. Amen. The, the Word of God. Amen. It, it has to be like food in us. We have to have a hunger. We have to have a thirst yes. for the Word of God. And, and not let it just come in one ear and go out the other ear. But we live. We walk. Uh, our faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Oh, taste and see that God is good. He, he gave his body. He gave his blood. And we're to take it and, and, and learn from it. He said, let, uh, let them not depart from thy eyes. Mm -hmm. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Take that word and let it come in you. Yeah, let it come through your yeah, ears, Lord. through your eyes. Let it come in how you talk and how yeah. you walk. Let it get in your heart. Mm -hmm. Let the word get deep down in your heart. Verse 22, for they are life unto those that find them. In other words, when you when you study the word and you God will there are some scriptures that will cleave to you. There are some scriptures that you will see and you will know that that's God. You can hold on to that. God has given you a direct word and God's word cannot be turned back void. So if God said it, that's yes. it. It's self yes. in heaven yes. and it's self in the earth. We have to believe it. So he said, for they are life. Mm -hmm. In the word is life. Jesus came, he was the light of the world. He was the yes. word, but he became the light of the world. In yes. him was no darkness at all. Yes. We live and move and have our being through him. So for they are life mm -hmm. unto those that find them. This is life. Yes. We live by this. This is our life. This is what we do. Amen. We treat one another according to the word of God. Not only is it life, but in health. To all our flesh. When Jesus died on the cross, he not only died for our sins, but he died for our healing. By his stripes, mm -hmm. we receive healing. We yeah. are healed. Now we just got to believe his word. Get that word in our heart, not in our memory, not in our minds, but it's got to be rooted yeah. down in our heart. It's like a medicine. It's health. Mm -hmm. The word is like a medicine. It's health mm -hmm. to all our flesh, getting back to our, our scripture topic, keep that heart. Our responsibility mm -hmm. is when we study the word, our responsibility is when God come in our lives is to keep our heart. We have to guard our hearts. Amen. So in other words, what God does, amen, he comes into us, but he comes into the, 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 the borders of our heart. And, and here the writer is saying, keep that heart with all diligence. Keep your heart, keep your mind, keep your heart with all this, for out of it are the issues of life. Yes. In other words, you want to live a good life, you got to have some in you. You want to act the right way, you got to have some in you. That's why we teach our children how to live, how to become young adults where they can grow up and live a good life. Somebody got to teach you, somebody got to guide you, somebody got to give you the direction. What guides a child of God mm -hmm. is his word. You can go by the preacher for only so long. You got to have a word in you. That word has got to penetrate your heart. It's got to get yes. in your heart. 24th verse. Put away from thee mm -hmm. a forward mouth. You, you can't wait for nobody to come and tell you all the time what to do. You got to have it in your heart that I said the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. You got to have it in your heart. I treated that person wrong. You got to have it in your heart what is right and what is wrong and then put away from you a forward mouth. Don't do it no more. Amen. A part of serving God is to be able to repent. A part of serving God is to be able to give folks who hurt you. Forgive them. Amen. And then don't you go out and hurt them back. Vengeance belongs to God. Put that away. How we hurt people with our mouth. How we hurt people with our actions. How we feel better than other people. That's why uh, uh, what's going on in America today, hatred. Hatred is coming, amen, by what we say. You can, you can hear a person talk. When I got to Woodbury, Woodbury was a church, amen, that believed in, in, in really the spirit of God. And, and they were just all in the anointing of God. So when I would talk, they could tell I knew scriptures 
but a lot of it I didn't really have in my spirit. So what the pastor told me, she gave me some advice. She said, uh, Tom, the letter, kill it, but the spirit make it alive. In other words, Tom, you got to have the spirit of God down in you because when you hear people talk, you can pick up their spirit. When you hear what they say, but you see what they do, you see what's coming out. The Bible said, you know the tree by the fruit it bears. So in other words, what's in you is going to come out. So you put away, get rid of the nasty talking, love everybody, treat everybody right. Put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips. Put far from thee. You don't have to do that. You don't have to act like that. Amen. Come down. Follow peace with all men. Holiness without no man. So see the Lord. 25th verse. Let thine eyes look right on and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Be honest. Don't try to trick folks. Don't try to Take from folk. Don't try to cheat. Amen. Be honest with your actions. Uh, be kind. Be gentle. Be long-suffering. The fruits of the Spirit. Have meekness and, and goodness and having faith and love. Let these operate where? In us. In our hearts. 26th verse. Ponder thy path of thy feet and let all thy ways be Establish. Look at what you're doing. You examine you. Nobody should have to run you down. I tell the church, I'm not a private eye. I'm not going to be in the car trying to see what you're doing. God know what you're doing. God don't pay you for what you're doing. And, what, and we te- if we're teaching against what you're doing, you ought to be not doing what you're doing. Amen. Father, peace. We got to learn how to live with one another. 27 verse. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Mm-hmm. If you marry, you know you wrong. Amen. You you marry, you got a wife. Amen. In America, we don't have two wives. Can I say that again? Mm-hmm. In America, we don't have two wives. Put your foot away from doing evil. Mm-hmm. Where it's coming from? The heart. Mm-hmm. It's coming from the heart, listen, the life is in the blood. Our life of a human mm. is in the blood. Yeah. What the heart does, the heart pumps the blood throughout the whole body. Mm-hmm. Now, the heart is a muscle, but what that muscle do, mm-hmm. amen, it pumps the blood. We live off blood. Blood gives us oxygen. Amen. The life is in the blood. Even the blood makes atonement for sin. Yeah. So what, what, what the heart is, it's the muscle in our body that pumps the blood that we have in our bodies throughout the whole body. Amen. And when the heart stop beating, you stop living. When the heart stops me, why? Because you don't have no oxygen. You don't have no blood. The blood stops, amen, circulating throughout your body. You, you can feel sometimes your, your heart beat, but what it's doing is pumping blood. That's why when you cut your hand, blood is coming out. Why? Because the blood is going through your body. That's why we can become saved. Why? Because Jesus gave his blood. Hallelujah. The blood gave us life. The blood redeemed us. Amen. The blood cleansed us. The blood washed us. Amen. The blood helped us. And now we're still living on the blood. You say, well, I made a mistake. Listen, the blood still covering you. The blood still works. Amen. The blood is washing us and helping us and delivering us. In other words, what keeps us going is our heart God coming in our heart, taking, amen, how we used to live away and giving us a new way to walk, a new way to talk. Jesus was in a meeting, amen, and all of a sudden a lawyer came up trying to trick him and asked him a question in Matthew 22, 37. And, and, and he said, Lord, which is the greatest commandment? And Jesus told him, listen, you got to love the Lord. Love my father with all your heart. Yes. In other words, if, if, if you're going to have God in you, you got to love him with all your heart. Yes. The muscle that pumped the blood, you got to love him with all your heart. Mm-hmm. Amen. Love him with all 
your soul. Yes. Down in the crevices of your heart, down in the, in, in, in the inner part of your belly where your soul is, you got to love God with your soul and with all thy mind. You got to think on good things. Think on lovely things. Watch what you think on. Watch what you think about doing. Be careful. Amen. Watch yourself. Amen. And serve God, the greatest that we love God. And the second Jesus told me, he didn't just give him one. Uh -huh. He gave him another. Yeah. He said the second was like the first. Yes, love your neighbor. In yes, other Lord. words, how we know we represent God, how do we know uh -huh. we have God in us, is that we can love our neighbor yes. like we do ourselves. In other words, we got to love our neighbor. We can love our friends because we hang with them. We deal with them. But can you love the neighbor who don't know you, who don't trust you, don't want you to paw on their grass? When we moved out here, amen, we were heading the family over. We had the cars parked up and down the street. Our neighbor told, don't y'all park on our yard. We didn't park in her yard, amen. We parked on the streets. And, and then they had a party. And then they want to park on our lawn, did I go out and fuss? No, 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 no. Let them pause. Follow peace. See, when you got God, you got him on the inside. I ain't talking about in your ears. I ain't talking about in your mind. We got to have God in our heart. And we got to keep our hearts clean. We can't let nothing get in our hearts. Why? Because we got to love God with all of our hearts. With all of our minds, yes. with all of our soul, yes. and with all of our spirit, we got to love God. Amen. Proverbs 17, 22 say, a merry heart does good like a medicine, yes. but a broken spirit dry the bone. Don't let nobody attack your heart. People, I have friends, amen, and they just... Always, you know, digging in this and digging in that and trying to get me to be this and get me to be that. I am so comfortable being who I am. Amen. And, and, and I can serve God in who I am. And, and, and his word, amen, is like medicine to me. I can feast off his word because when I need him, he's always there. He's going to give me a word. I'm looking for a word. He's going to give me a word. When we were taking, me and my wife was trying to find where we could get a shot from. We talked with a lady on the phone. Uh, and, and then the lady said, we don't have no appointment, but give me your email. Email. I email you. The next day, I got to working on the on the computer, and I looked up in Jackson, Georgia, and first lady email came up in Jackson, Georgia. In other words, God was showing us that we're gonna be able to get the shot, not in Woodbury, not in in in, in Fayetteville, but we can get the shot in 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 Jackson, Georgia. In other words, what I'm saying, the word of God, God's word is light. God's word is light. It lit up our life. God had already had the place for where we could go get the vaccine. Oh, He's a wonder. In my soul, hallelujah. And that's what having God in your heart do. Now, it's like it's like medicine. Amen. It gives you a merry heart. You know God gonna work it out. You don't know how, but you know God is going to work it out. But when you, you allow your spirit to be broken, why you say do you allow your spirit? Don't let nobody get in your spirit and break your spirit down. Don't let nobody beat you down. It's some folk you ain't got no business hanging with because if they don't like you, they just ain't going to like you. If they don't love you, they're not going to love you. Why would you keep hanging around people that's criticizing you, beating you down, don't, don't think nothing about you, always trying to hurt you? Maybe you need to go get another address. Maybe you need to go find some folk who can love you. You can't make nobody love you. Uh -huh. Amen. A merry heart. It's like medicine. Yes. A merry heart. You happy. We should be happy. God called us to peace. We ought to follow peace with everybody. We ought to love everybody. We shouldn't have to struggle within. We shouldn't have to struggle, amen, in our heart and in our minds. We should serve God in spirit mm -hmm. and in truth. Let's go to Ezekiel, the 11th chapter mm -hmm. of the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel, 11th chapter. I'm looking at Amen. That 19th verse. Ezekiel 11 and 19. And I will give them one heart. Mm -hmm. 
Hallelujah. All of the children of God, all of the people of God, I don't care about your nationality. I don't care about your race. I don't care about your church denomination. God is not concerned about denomination. He's concerned about salvation. Do you know him? The other Guthrie used to teach us, amen, education without salvation is damnation. I don't care how smart you are. Do you have God in your heart and, and, and what Ezekiel was prophesying here and I will give them one heart. one heart in other words we got to have a heart after God uh -huh. amen I will give them one heart uh -huh. and I will put a new spirit uh -huh. within you in other words when you meet God I don't care what church you go to you got to have God's spirit on the inside of you. I don't care how much you shout. My daughter sent me a, 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 a text on me shouting about 20 something years ago. And boy, I was picking them up and putting them down. I didn't believe it was me. I didn't think I could dance that good. God, I wish I could sit down to everybody. I was picking them up and putting them down. But I don't care how good you shout. You gotta have God on the inside. He's gotta be on the inside stretching to come out on the outside. And, and what this verse is saying, I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit. What God does, amen, he comes in and he take out the old you, the family you, everything your daddy taught you, you everything your mama taught you, you, and then he give you a new, a new spirit. Put a new spirit on the inside within you. And I will take away the stony heart, the old hard heart. A stony heart is a hard heart, like a rock. A rock, you got to break a rock down, but when you break a rock down, it just won't lay there because it's, it's stone, it's, it's rock. It ain't going to do nothing. You can't put it back together again because it's clay. It's just rock. He said, I take away the stony heart, that old, that cold heart, that heart that set. In his way. Some people say, huh, this just the way I am. I, I, I drink and get drunk, this just the way I am. Maybe, maybe God can give you another heart. Maybe God can come in and take out that stony heart. Amen. You weren't born drinking. Amen. Take out that heart uh, uh, and, and give you a new heart. That, that heart that won't change. God will come in and take that stony heart out and what he'll do he said take out that stony heart and give you a heart of flesh a heart of flesh mm -hmm. is we are, we are carnal we are fleshly beings and what we do we have the treasure of god mm -hmm. the holy spirit god in spirit form comes within us so we have this treasure in a human body and whatever we don't operate according to the Holy Spirit in us, we wind up in the fleshly body. Uh -huh. Now there's nothing good about the flesh. Uh -huh. The flesh and the spirit, they are enmity yeah. one with another. They're at war one with another. So why do we need the Holy Spirit? Why do we need the Holy Ghost? We need the Holy Spirit in us yeah. to avoid us from operating in our flesh. Yeah. When we mad with somebody, when we're ready to fight somebody, All when right. we're ready to go get a gun and shoot somebody, that ain't nothing but the flesh. Amen. That ain't nothing but flesh. But when we serve God, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God comes in us and it controls the outside of us. Amen. You see, you're see, you married and you see a, a pretty woman in the grocery store and you got to watch what your eyes see because, because that's not your wife. Your wife is at home. So what the Holy Ghost do, it's in you designed to guide you. Okay, so what you do, you go another way. What you do, amen, you ain't worried about that. Why? Because you've already made up your mind. You're going to be led by the Holy Ghost. You're going to be led by God. He leads us through his spirit. His spirit comes in and guides us, directs us. It talks to us. It helps us. It shows us how to go. It shows us what direction to take. It, it's the, the fleshly part being controlled by what's in us. Yeah. It's God in us working 
out of us. He keep the same body like a car, but he put a new motor, a new heart in us. He put a heart of flesh in us where we can have compassion one for another. I pull in, amen, McDonald's, get me a breakfast yesterday morning. And when I pull in there, I was waiting on the car in front of me patiently. And when the lady, whoever was pulled around, amen, I pull up and order and pull up to the window. And when I got up to the window, uh, the lady said, the car in front of you paid for your breakfast. Boy, I wish I had an order just a little bit more. She said, the car in front of you paid for your breakfast. I wanted to blow my phone. I tried to blow my phone and holler, thank you. You know, and now what I realized right there, Wait a minute. She the one going to get the blessing. I just got me a, a biscuit here. I just got me a sandwich here. What's going to happen? She the one going to get the blessing. I don't know how she knew I was a, a preacher. I don't know what she said, but it was something in her that caused her to pay. That's God. God is going to always look out for you, but he want to operate from the inside out. God's got to come in and take control, and you got to love it with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your spirit. You can't have no other God before him. You got to clean out your heart where he can come in and take a boat. He ain't going to live in the one clean place. He ain't going to live. You can grieve him. You can grieve the Holy Ghost. Your word, our action, the way we carry out. I said, it grieved the Holy Ghost. And you beat him down because he didn't tell you to do that. You beat him down because you don't listen to him. After a while, amen, you'll start going back to the old man. After a while, you'll pick up the stoniness of your heart. And then all of a sudden now, you just, you're just treating everybody. No, 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 no. No, we got to follow God. God got to help us from the inside. The, 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 the body of the car don't need the car. The motor has to be running. The heart of us has to pump the light throughout us to cause us to love even our enemies when they despitefully treat us wrong. Yeah. We got to love them. Amen. You, give, you say you can't do it. No, you can't do it. But the spirit, we got to have God on the inside of us. Amen. He'll take out the, the stony heart and he'll give us a heart of flesh. Amen. And that 20th verse in uh, Ezekiel 11 and 20, that they may walk in my statue. Uh -huh. Neighbor, the only way you can please God, uh -huh. his spirit has got to be in you, yeah. leading you, directing you, uh -huh. instructing you. Jesus came and he came with words. Uh -huh. uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, he taught us how to please God. We got to take the gospel. Amen. The gospel is good news. We got to take that gospel and follow it. You can't follow your mind. You got to follow the word of God, that word of I hid in my heart that I may not sin against. We got to have God in us. His spirit has got to be activated. The Holy Ghost has got to be overshadowing us. The Spirit of God has got to be directing us. When you wake up in the morning, oh, thank you, God. You're praying to him. You're worshiping him all day long. You got a prayer in your heart. All they know, you serve him 24 hours when you sleep, you serve him. Sometime I'm in a dream, and that dream ain't going right out. Wake up. Why? Because that ain't me. That ain't me. I got to get out of that dream. I got to get to some little bit more relaxing than that. Why? Because I serve God. I don't do anything. I can't do anything. I got to please God. How do I know how to? Please, God, he's in me, mm -hmm. lives in me, he walks with me, he talks with me. I'm his child. He directs the steps of a good man. Yeah. Order. By God, he'll come in and take control. The heart is the center mm -hmm. of the human body. Yeah. Amen. The heart is the seat of our emotions. Yeah. Sometimes our emotions get carried away, but the heart is to balance us. The heart let us know, wait a minute, don't say nothing. Sometimes I get ready to say something, and the Spirit said, don't say nothing. I got to say, if I think twice, mm -hmm. amen, I, I will only speak but once. You can't think of all this junk because it'll come out of your mouth. We got to clean up our hearts. Amen. The heart is also the center of our affection. Mm -hmm. What you love, you'll fight for. Mm -hmm. If you love your children better than you love God, you'll fight for your children and you mess them up because you love them more than you love God. You got to train up your child mm -hmm. in the way that he should go. Don't let them train up themselves. Train them up in the way that he should go. And when they get old, they won't depart. In other words, they're going to come back to what you taught them because what you taught them 
was God and God wanted to get in them. Everybody needs God. Our children need God. Yeah. Our home need God. Yeah. The White House need God. Yeah. They're trying to do it and they messing up. They're trying to work, make it work. they messing up. If everybody had yeah. Jesus, what a wonderful world this would be. We all need God directing us from the inside out. One more verse, Luke 6 and 45. Luke 6 and 45. And it say, amen, a good man, a good man, out of a good treasure of his heart, bringeth forth that which is good. Neighbor, are you a good man? Neighbor, are you a good woman? And every man examine himself. And see whether or not he's in the faith. Paul said, I keep under my body. Mm -hmm. I bring it into subjection. Let's after I preach to others, I myself be a cast away. Do you say one thing and do another thing? But do, or do you have God in you? And are you following his direction? Again, a good man out of a, the good treasure of his heart, bring forth that which is good. An evil man. Out of the evil treasure of his heart, bring forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaking. Mm -hmm. You know a tree by what it produces. Mm -hmm. You know whether or not a child of God. That lady, I don't know how she knew I was a child of God in, in, in McDonald's. But she, she, she did something. She, she showed the God in her took care of the bishop while he wrote the lady said, you ain't got to pay, sir. The lady in front of you took care of it. That's God. Good people do good things. Good people treat people right. Amen. And it comes out of the abundance of our heart. We, we don't see the inside, but we see how the outside works. And we can tell what's happening on the outside about what's going on on the inside. Neighbor, we need a personal relationship mm -hmm. with God. We need to clean up our heart. Mm -hmm. And a bitter heart is the rottenness mm -hmm. of the bone. Mm -hmm. I heard somebody say, mean people live a long time. I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. If you mean and bitter, and hateful, mm -hmm. amen. You're gonna be left by yourself. Eventually, eventually, you have to ride back home, not in a celebration, but you got to ride back home in defeat. Why? Because you've mistreated so many people, you've hurt so many people, you've done so many wrong, nasty things wrong. A good man, good man. out of the good treasures of his heart, bring forth. Good thing, an evil man out of the evil treasures of his heart bring forth that which mm -hmm. is evil. A tree is known by its fruit. Right. What comes out of us is determined by what's in you. Mm -hmm. My job is to clean up my heart. My job is to love my wife. My job is to love my children, my family, my church family. My job is to do good, to be a, a good man. You say, well, sometimes you mess up. That's why we can repent. That's why we can go to God. Come boldly to the throne of grace you find here in time of need. We can go to God anytime. He said, Lord, forgive me. I said the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing. God know your heart. That's what David did. David went to God and said, Lord, wait a minute, Lord. Lord, I don't want you to, I don't want you to uh, do me wrong. Create in me. Yeah. My heart got messed up when I saw Bathsheba. My mind got messed up when I yeah. saw, yeah, I had Uriah kid. I, I'm honest, God, with you. I did it, but Lord created me. Yeah. A clean heart. Renew mm. a right spirit mm. in me. David said, God said David was a man after his own heart. David went after the heart of God. They, God punished him. Mm -hmm. 
But he didn't take his spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God love us. God know you done done wrong. God know everything you do. He neither slumbers nor sleep. Every, every lie you tell. Right. God knows. Let me tell you a thing about a liar. He ain't going to tear it in God's sight. When God see that liar coming, he going to say, go on by. Because I know what you're going to do. What are you going to do? You're going to tell another lie. A liar will not tear it in God's sight. You got to be truthful to all men. In other words, you got to be a good man. You got to be a good woman. And how can you be good? It has to come from your heart. You got to clean up your heart because the life of the flesh is in the heart. It pumps the heart. It pumps the blood throughout the whole body. We need God. But we need him. in We need his spirit to come. And he told Nicodemus, Nicodemus, you can't see it in this. You got to be born of the water. Uh -huh. You got to be born of the spirit. Neighbor, do you have God in you? All right. Have you been born again? Do you go to church or do you go to half church? Do we serve God or do we serve ourselves? Clean up our heart. Uh -huh. God is asking us today to clean up our heart. We can preach, but we can't clean you up. We have to work on ourselves. We have to work. We know what we do wrong. And we have to make them in. We have to ask God to forgive us and then get right. Mm -hmm. Name, you got to get right. You got to repent. You got to repent. Because wrong is wrong. And right is right. Open up your heart and allow God to come in. They're coming to take a board. It's by faith. You get it by faith. You're not going to sin. Come in. But boy, when you go to the grocery store, you take that shopping cart and give it to that old lady that's trying to get it. You used to go and take it from her, but you go and give it to her. Why? Because God would change your heart. God would give you, take out the stoniness and give you a new heart, a heart of flesh. Do you know it? Like the Bible said, this word is all about God from the beginning to the ending. He was Alpha and Omega. If you want to know God, get in your word. Study it day and night and you will find light that guides you through the rest of your life. And I guarantee you, you'll find joy at the end of the road. Just clean up. Amen. Even my clothes need to be clean sometimes. They get dirty. We got to clean them up. We got to clean up our heart. Let's pray. Father, mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to about 20 people, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They've had God, but Lord, they, they took the wrong turn and, okay. and, 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 and went through the yield sign and, 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 and got on the wrong road. Mm -hmm. But God, I pray right now for that individual, that man, that woman, that boy, that girl. I pray right now that you will convict them. Touch them, Lord. You have a plan for their life. They were born with that plan. You're waiting on them, Lord. I'm praying that they turn around to you, Lord. I'm telling them they seek you as never before, Lord. I pray that they repent, Lord. We have, we have cousins and relatives that need to repent, Lord. I pray that a repentant spirit would go out over the airways today and touch the heart of this, your people, God. In the name of the, you're waiting. You're listening. You, you, you want to hear that cry. All they got to do is ask for forgiveness. All they got to do is ask for mercy. Your mercies are renewed every morning, every day, Lord. Oh, God, I pray for healing. I pray for deliverance, God. I pray for that family that needs food. I pray, amen, for a miracle, Lord. We're in trying times, Lord. We should be helping one another, Lord. We should be encouraging one another, Lord. We should be calling one another, Lord. We should be lifting up one another. Help us, God. To do what you call us to do. To be servants, Lord. We yield to your will. Have your way, not my way. But your will be done. We give you all the praise. And all the glory. And all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Neighbor, clean up. The house got to be cleaned up. The car got to be cleaned up. But on the inside of our heart. Mm -hmm. We, we need a cleaning. I used to sing a song. I'm not going to sing it now. I used to sing a song, Wash Me Over 
again. Wash me over again. In your precious, precious blood, wash me over. Every day, wash me over. Forgive us this day, our daily bread. And the next day, forgive us this day, our daily bread. Wash me over again. Hallelujah. Thank God for his goodness. Until next week, this is Bishop Daniel, First Lady, Dr. Bobby Daniel. We love you. And God loves you best. God bless you. Until next week, God bless you is our prayer.